It's hard to find a good handyman. It's even harder to find a bad handyman who's on the run from the cops. But we got him. This is a story of a manhunt, a handyman hunt. But this isn't just any handyman. He's the handyman from hell. Figured he was my friend. JB, hey, it's Rob Walchek with Fox 2. And he deceived me. Can I talk to you? And how can he do that to me? Not right now. <laughs> and when it comes to manhunts, I always get my man, my handyman. They say these are fraud checks that you took? No. Well, you signed them. So they were written well, yeah, out no, the cash. They were written to, they were written to yeah. cash and then you signed them. You didn't write those? No. This is Sylvan Lake, an hour north of Detroit. Mary Lou lives here. I'm 81. Last year, Mary Lou was baffled. I started noticing I'm bouncing checks and, and I'm taking money out of this account to transfer over to that account so it gets paid. Mary Lou asked her niece Mary to take a look at her finances. She bounced this check, she bounced that check, she couldn't keep up with her credit card payments, and this is something that never, ever happened in her past before. Niece Mary pulled her Auntie Lou's bank records and found a whole lot of checks that were written out to Mary Lou's handyman, James Walsh. Checks she says aren't in the check registry. Not only that. There was about 22,000 or so in credit card fraud. Mary Lou couldn't believe it. Not Johnny on the spot, James, who she has mower grass and do paint jobs. Who would be the last person I would think? He was my friend. When I looked in her Lake Trust uh, checkbook, there was a missing check right in the middle. And there were checks cashed out of order, checks James endorsed. A lot of them are to cash and he forged my signature. I trusted this man. They took their suspicions about nice guy James to the Sylvan Lake Police Department and filed a report. Chief Corey O'Donohue explains. We found over, over the last year he'd been stealing a lot of money through her, whether he was you know, taking checks and writing them out for themselves or just tricking her into giving, giving him money. In all, they believe the handyman helper helped himself to more than $30,000 from a vulnerable senior. I really liked him. He was nice. And just so you know, Mary Lou isn't a rich lady. She worked 30 plus years for Detroit Edison. Now she says she has to sell her house to survive. As for James Walsh, he's disappeared. I can't sleep. I get stomach aches. I'm buying Pepto Bismol, you know. He just made my life miserable. He was my friend. I interviewed Mary Lou in the spring and told her if the Sylvan Lake police got charges on James, I'd find him for her. And in early summer, James Walsh was charged with four felonies. Now, I just had to find the, the handyman, handyman from hell. James was well known in Sylvan Lake. He'd hung out with the locals, but no one had seen him in a while. Everyone knew him as JB. I found out James Walsh had no valid driver's license, no car registered to him, and no current address. We had some JB sightings, but they always turned out to be the wrong guy. I checked periodically on his Facebook page, and he claimed he was staying with his brother in Georgia. I even had the Fox 5 Atlanta investigative team do a little surveillance down south for me. Saw the brother, but no sign of the fugitive fix-it man. Then a couple of weeks ago, James changed his profile picture to this bridge, which kind of looks like Michigan. Time to do some sleuthing. We found the bridge. It's here in Waterford. The foliage looks about the same as in James's picture, and even that poster on the bridge is the same. I got a feeling JB is back in town. Then one of James' Facebook friends tagged JB in a post at a Michigan football game. Next, he went to Miguel Cabrera's retirement weekend at Comerica Park. And I heard JB was seen playing beach volleyball at this place in Commerce. A few days later, I spotted this SUV at JB's Facebook friend's condo in Waterford. Basket of clothes in the front seat. Michigan plates it. What kind of janky? And a few hours later, it's him. James must have missed that Detroit-style pizza because he heads to Jets and chows down a pie in the front seat. The next day, we follow JB to a Waterford 7-Eleven. Okay, James, time for a big gulp. Where you been? 
I've been around. Yeah? I, yeah, lived in Atlanta for a while. I just got back. Yeah. Cancer treatments. Oh, okay. I'm sorry you're sick. Yeah, I guess he's been too sick to call the police when they wanted to question him for the past six months. I want to talk to you about Mary Lou. You remember her? I do. Uh, well, you were her handyman, right? Uh, for a little while, yes. Uh, her family was looking, and it appears like you may have taken some money from her. That's false. That's false? Yes. You didn't take any money from her? I did not. Remember, niece Mary suspects the dandy handyman nabbed at least 30 grand. How much money did you make off of her? I don't know right now. I couldn't tell you. Give me a rough. I don't know. I you know. didn't forge any checks? I did not. No, you didn't no. take checks out? I did not. Because, see, if you notice, sometimes the, the, the uh, handwriting looks a little different. Okay. So she's missing a whole bunch of money, and she thinks you took it. Okay. Well, that's false. That's false? Yep. Categorically, it's false. James denies everything, even stuff I'm pretty sure he's lying about, like info I got from the Secretary of State's office. I ran your plates, and they come back as being, like, uh, stolen plates. It's not stolen. Missing plates? No. Not is the car all. registered? Yes, it is. It is? Yes. Yep. And right. you, I do you have a driver's now. license? I do. Here, let me give you my... Can you show me that? Uh, not at the moment, no. Time for me to hammer the handyman. So you have a warrant for four felonies, three counts of uttering and publishing, and one count of embezzlement out of Sylvan Lake. Okay, I'll have to get in touch with them then. You want to go drive over there right now, turn yourself in? Uh, not at the moment. I need I need to get going right now. I've got some doctor stuff to the head, so. What? Um, okay, so you've been sick? Yes. And that's all true? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. And you didn't take her money? No, I did not. Where are you staying now? Um, I stay with a friend, so okay. right, I'm done right now. I okay. Just, thank you. All right. Thanks for letting me know. I'll see you in court. Okay. After I informed the fuzz I'd located fugitive James Walsh, a.k.a. JB, Sylvan Lake and Waterford police head out to get him, and it doesn't take long. We got him Saturday morning, which we found out later was his birthday, so it was a nice way to celebrate his birthday by locking him up. JB, what does that stand for? Ah, uh, I know. Jailbird in the Hall of Shame. Now, it turns out James Walsh actually had eight arrest warrants, including one from 2018 for receiving stolen property. He's currently housed at the Oakland County Jail. He's entered a not guilty plea to all charges. Mary Lou did have to sell her house. The missing money and having to rely on hired help just made her too anxious.